What's good guys, we're back from the January break and this one is the 4-3-1-2 formation in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. This one's from the request list, so if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you can request something your very fine self. Let's get straight on into it. Right then, chaps, the 4 3 1 2 is a perfect formation for dominating the middle of the field and especially useful against anyone that likes to play down the center. So, we're talking about formations like the 4 2 3 1 narrow, the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, or the 4 triple 2 formation. Anyone kitting out in those formations playing down the center, you are going to squeeze them out with this and then hit them on some fantastic counter attacks so as i mentioned before i did have a little break in january but i've got a big pile of videos coming your way so do subscribe to the channel and keep your eyes peeled for all those upcoming goodies and hopefully got a little bit of some good news at the end of february for you but without further ado let's get straight on into the tactics of this bad boy so then, the recent patch has brought back the dominance of dropback as a viable defensive style. Uh, we don't want to set it too far back in this particular one, but if you go on three depth with dropback and couple that with using overload ball side in game, which I will remind you of later in the video, honestly, this really does squeeze out your opponents, gives them no room to attack down the middle at all in this. So. Narrow formation, keep it for width. There's no point dragging it out because it's designed to be narrow and three depth on the drop back defensive style. Offensive style, you've got two options. So if you are comfortable playing the game, you know how to trigger runs using the L1 and the R1 buttons. I would say to leave this on balanced and then you can manually trigger runs as and when you want to. If you do struggle with this, maybe want a little bit of help from the AI, you can set this to long ball. That will just mean that your strikers intuitively make runs forwards without you really having to tell them to do that. But if you are comfortable in the game, I would recommend keeping it on balance. For the width, again, we're not changing this at all. It's a narrow formation, so let's use it to its advantages. Four width is absolutely fine. Players in the box, we want to ramp this up to about six because we want to encourage players to go forward after that defensive phase. And both corners and free kicks are most useful set as one on this so that you're not getting counter-attacked. And plus, there's a few good corner routines you can now do with this particular tactic. Same with free kicks. Instruction time, chaps, starting with the strikers. Stay central, get in behind, and basic defensive support on both strikers. They will come back, sit on the halfway line, and wait to receive the ball from the midfielders before powering on forward, ready to get in behind the defense. Central attacking midfielder wants to be on basic defense support also. Get into the box for cross to make some good forward runs. Free roam, as always, for good positional movement and normal interceptions. Now, the midfield trio, the central one, it needs to be on state back while attacking, balanced crossing runs, aggressive interceptions, stick to position, and cover center. This is best for the most defensive of your midfield. Stick them in this holding position and they can let the rest of the team do the business. Left and right, central midfielders want to be on get forward, so they bomb on to support the attackers as and when you launch your attack. Balanced crossing runs, normal interceptions, free roam and cover wing as standard. In defensive mode, you're going to be using the crowd ball side tactic. So these guys will come back, sit in the midfield with the central player and just veer off to the left and right depending which wing your opponent is trying to attack on. Finally, for the defenders, stay back while attacking on both fullbacks, normal interceptions and mixed attack. We don't want them getting caught out of position as your central midfielders will be launching these attacks with the striker. Centre-backs and goalkeepers do not need to be changed in this formation and that concludes the player instructions. Let's get on into the match demonstration and I'll show you exactly how this should work. When using this formation, press down and right on the D-pad to overload ball side. Coupling this with the drop back tactic, your team will start to filter backwards, moving from left to right to cover whichever side your opponent is attacking. 
When you win the ball back, your players will instantly turn into their attacking mode and start moving up the pitch with all kind of supporting runs through the middle. The recent update has made drop back really difficult to get past once again. Your team will swarm the penalty area and make it really difficult to pull off any shots or passes. From there your cam is always available to pick the ball up and your strikers will make those quick runs in behind the defence. From defence to attack in a couple of passes. The best way to defend when you lose the ball is to track the runners and just hold off your opponent and allow time for your defence to get back. Again, once you win the ball back, your midfield will be straight there to pick it up and launch your next attack. Be prepared to be dominating your opponents in the middle, and this is bound to bring along those rage quits. See ya! Of course, you don't always have to start with this formation. In this particular game, I noticed my opponent liked to attack down the middle. So I put this formation on and instantly made it a lot more cluttered. From there, we all know how the attacks start from winning the ball back. A couple of passes and we're in. Of course, you're not just limited to dropping back and defending in your own half. Setting your midfielder to aggressive interceptions means you can quickly win the ball back and relaunch your attack. And we all know by now, every win should be supplemented by those 60th minute super subs. A Chimpong. And Chiadozzi. Up Benny. Up Benny. A Chimpong. A Chimpong. Up Benny. A Chimpong. This formation is really versatile to use depending on your own play style. Rather than just counter attacking, you can use it to steadily build the ball up and wait for those overlapping runs from the midfielders. And with the right bit of magic, you'll get just that. So remember, crowd your opponents out in the middle Wait for that opportunity to steal the ball and then devastate them with your fast building attacks. Easy. And after all that, there's still time for one more from Big Frank. A chain pong. Um, EA? What make you never let me score, Bomba Clark? Enjoy using this new powerful formation to dominate that midfield. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and hit me up on my socials. You can also now follow me on Brabzy TV on Twitch for future live streams. Till next time, ciao for now.